Whether you're looking to buy or rent, there's no denying that housing in Eugene is expensive. Let's talk about what it looks like to rent a house in Eugene. Hi, my name is Hannah Caldwell. I'm your local Eugene realtor. And today I wanna to tell you about renting a house because sometimes it's just not the right time to buy. Sometimes you don't wanna buy for various reasons. The rental market in Eugene is interesting and how people find rentals in Eugene is different than a lot of places in the country. So I thought, you know what, let's dive into it. So talking about renting in Eugene is a, an interesting topic. First off, it is expensive. So let's talk about what the average rent in Eugene looks like. So average rent, according to the internet, is um, $1,792 a month. It also says the average square footage is 887. So I don't really know if it's associating that average rent with that average square footage. I guess that would make sense to me. But when you really break it down, like 1700 is looking usually like a two bedroom, usually one and a half bath at least. So I would say like it's probably more around 900, 1000 square feet for that average uh, 1700-ish range of rent. It's really interesting actually in Eugene, it has a higher population of renters than it does homeowners. So of all of the constituents in Eugene, 52% uh, are renters while only 48% are homeowners. So there's a lot of competition. This drives the prices up. Of course, investors that are coming in to purchase homes, the homes are expensive. So to make a profit on their rental properties, they do have to have higher rents. Um, and this has created this whole market, rental market in Eugene Springfield. What I actually found was interesting when I was looking it up is the average rent in Springfield is like 1800. So it was actually a little over so it's actually higher in Springfield which I thought was wild I think that is probably due to the fact that there are more small apartments in Eugene whereas Springfield likely has more single-family home rentals larger properties and, and that nature this is because Eugene does have a lot of university rentals of course they have really been pushing density in Eugene in terms of city planning. So what we are seeing now is a lot more modern high-rise apartments, especially close to the University of Oregon campus. We have lots of large apartment complex buildings. Some have great amenities, some have pools, some of them have coffee shops at the bottom, various different things like this. So that has been booming and that has been also pushing that price up because they are modern, they're more luxury, they are generally catering to out of state students or international students. And so like for a two bedroom apartment, yes, okay, then I understand 17, 18, 1900 dollars for these two bedroom apartments in these luxury buildings. If you're thinking about moving to Eugene and renting, one of the big things that's different about renting in Eugene than any other part of the country is that real estate agents like myself, unfortunately don't help people find rental properties and they don't help landlords lease rental properties. We don't have any rentals on our multiple listing service. Um, we don't get paid at all for helping people find rentals. And I think this is to the detriment of the consumer because there, what it means is there's not one central place where you can find everything that's available. You're going into it blind, there's no representation. Oftentimes renters feel like, you know, they don't have any power when they're talking about leases. It's just what it is right there in front of you, whatever the property management company tells you. With that being said, I do think that it is beneficial to at least have a relationship with a realtor when you are thinking about renting, especially if you're moving and renting because we all do have like a pretty vast network. Oftentimes realtors are also real estate investors. So we can sometimes have off market from rentals that we know of or private rentals that are not through property management companies. So it never hurts to reach out to a realtor and say, Hey, I'm moving. This is what I'm looking for. Can you just see if there's anything available when I'll be arriving? Doesn't hurt. The other place that I say is, to look for rentals because we don't have a central place to shop for rentals. The big ones are Zillow, of course, apartments.com, Facebook Marketplace. There are also several Facebook groups that you can join where people are, are often posting private rentals. So like one of them is called Moving to Eugene. So join the Moving to Eugene Facebook group where people and real estate investors are posting private rentals and then going direct to the property management websites. 
there are a lot of property management companies in Lane County. But here are a couple that I think that you can definitely, that are bigger, so they're gonna have more properties listed online and that are generally, have a bigger hand in the single family rental market. The Trio Property Management, Bell Realty, Von Klein, Full House Property Management, AG Property Management, Campus Connections, Emerald Property Management, r and Properties, and the Jennings Group. A couple of those tend to focus more on campus rentals. So those would be like Von Klein, Jennings Group, Bell Realty a little bit. They tend to focus on the university rentals or rentals that are close to the University of Oregon campus. So if that's not what you're coming to Eugene for, then maybe looking at something like Trio or Full House or AG Property Management, those are gonna be a little bit more of the single family homes throughout Lane County, but those are definitely property management companies that you can go to their website, look up what properties they have available. You can also start getting on wait lists or contacting that property management company, telling them what you're looking for so that they can keep it in mind as they have properties coming available. Right now in Eugene, there are only 96 single family homes available for rent. There are a million apartments, don't get me wrong. Like there's apartments close to Valley River Center. There are brand new apartment complexes being built constantly in that market. Like I said, brand new apartment buildings being built around campus, downtown. We've got plenty. If you're looking for apartment living, condo living, townhome living, there's lots available. But if you're moving here and you want to rent a single family home, it's slim pickings. I was looking at these, so 96 currently listed on Zillow. The lowest price rental that is a, a detached single family home listed on Zillow right now is $1,645 a month. The most expensive detached single family home was a four bed, three bath, two car garage, 2,600 square foot home, and that is renting for $3,995 a month. So this just gives you a little, a small picture of the range of cost for specifically a single family home in Eugene. I think that if you are looking to rent a detached single family home, unless it's small, really small, I would say like sub 800 square feet and probably has no garage, then you are looking at at least $2,000 a month for rent. I hope that this helps if you are thinking about moving to Eugene to rent. There are lots of resources available online. I am happy to help if you want to reach out. I do have my email in the description box below and I would be happy to, like I said, put my call out to my network to see if I have any private rentals for you or to provide you more resources in your search. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!